Hey guys, welcome back. I welcome you all to Cyber Security with Ravi Malhotra. I am Ravi Malhotra. I welcome you all. Uh, this is going to be checkpoint uh, NGX R80.40 CCSA uh, learning series. This is a course CCSA. And now we have reached lecture number 17. Okay. And believe me, this is one of the most important lecture to attend. It's just because uh, in this lecture, we'll talk about anti spoofing. And believe me, I have seen most of the people really struggling with the concept of anti-spoofing, right? So, so just please um, listen, this, listen the whole lecture very carefully. I'll try to give so many examples. I'm going to show you real, uh, real screenshots from my own virtual lab, right? And I'll ensure that I am able to make you understand the concept, right? So. Let's get started, lecture number 17, anti-spoofing, guys. So understanding anti-spoofing. In order to understand anti-spoofing, let us, let us break it first of all, right? Anti-spoofing. Let us first try to understand the spoofing concept only. What does it mean by spoofing, guys? The spoofing is simply changing your identity to someone else. That's the concept of spoofing in IT technology, okay? So attackers basically use IP spoofing technique to change a packet's IP address and make a packet look like as it is from trusted source, okay? Very important line, guys. Just read it again. Attackers use IP spoofing technique to change a packet's IP address. This is the main job. Of spoofing why why do they want to change an IP address of a packet that's very important let me write it in capital here why why the reason being why is that in order to understand that you need to now read the line number three it says that and and we know that you know firewall rules are just kind of conditions right so firewall rules are basically based on source and destination ip addresses so if something needs to be allowed or denied firewall makes the decision on the basis of ip addresses that it is reading from the packet that's the first thing i'm saying again something has to be an allowed or denied firewall makes this decision on the basis of its reading of ip addresses from the packet reaching its ingress interfaces assume that assume that um assume that 192 168 70 dot 5 is allowed to connect to over port 53 okay <clears throat> so only 70.5 is allowed to connect to one server which is 4.2.2 over port 53. A hacker, he has a bad intention. He want to connect to this server over port 53 but the problem is that the only IP address 70.5 is allowed to connect to this IP address. So now attacker, what, what he will do? He will definitely try to use some of the spoofing techniques so that he can change his IP address to look like as it is 70.5. And if he's able to do that, and if he is successfully able to do that, what will happen? He will be able to uh, get that access, right? Firewall just really does not know what is happening in the background. The firewall only knows that the packet that is reaching is 70.5. It has nothing to do that if someone has done any kind of spoofing technique in the back end, right? It will not be able to 
know the intention of the packet. It only reads the packet actually, right? Now the question is that how does it happen? That happened using man in the middle attack. There are so many techniques which actually make spoofing concept possible. Art poisoning attacks, right? And then man in the middle attack, okay? If you're new to these concepts, then please refer to my CCNA security course, okay? In that course, I have, I have, I have very clearly explained the concept of man in the middle attack or poisoning. You can also refer to my course, uh, crash, uh, you know, um, hacking crash course. In that, I am clearly demonstrating live that how do you do that. So let me just try to uh, bring everything again to you that what we need to understand is a spoofing concept. Spoofing is a technique when when you try to when you try to make firewall believe that you are the one who is allowed to connect to the access. Unfortunately, you're not allowed to connect to that one server. And how you do that? You do that on the basis of a technique like man in the middle and you know, uh, some kind of art poisoning attack. And, and the example that we understood that there is a 192.168.71.5 basically he wants to connect to 4.2.2 but he is not allowed to connect to 70.5 is allowed to connect to 4.2.2 IP address so what 71.5 will do he will use some kind of techniques and he will make himself look like as he is 70.5 the moment this packet will reach on the firewall firewall will just allow the traffic to this server so ultimately now who is able to access the server um, you know the attacker right uh, the victim is actually able to access the server uh, which is actually you know uh, 71.5 not 70.5 <coughs> And then you know, uh, it's just because you being a firewall administrator, your main job is to ensure that you know such type of practices should not be <clears throat> should not be successful. So there's a concept of anti-spoofing by which you can ensure that you know if somebody is trying to do such techniques, right, that connectivity will be dropped. So it is now anti spoofing so what we understood right now is a spoofing what what we will understand now is anti spoofing anti spoofing means that you are trying to ensure that spoofing technique is not possible by any means right if your network is not protected against ip spoofing attackers can exploit the vulnerability in the firewall rule and with this attacker can gain access to the network right so so many things that we have to do now I'll, I'm just going to move to the next slide guys so IP spoofing inspection is performed before the firewall policy and NAT lookup so for students who are trying to go for an interview they need to understand the packet processing order the packet processing order says that you know anti spoofing check is performed before a firewall policy and before a NAT is checked up. That's very important. Anti spoofing protection makes sure that the source IP address is the same as as as, as the security gateway interface. We'll understand the concept. The firewall blocks a packet that comes to an external interface with a spoofed internal IP address. This is the main objective of anti-spoofing. Checkpoint anti-spoofing makes sure that packets go to the correct interface according to the destination IP address. That's true. When you configure anti-spoofing for a security gateway, specify if the interfaces go to internal, external or an internal network. Okay. So in this slide, what I'm trying to explain um, is that you know that that you know what are the consequences of anti-spoofing, right? How does it help you to ensure that you know um, uh, that you know it is able to protect an environment? 
and in the packet processing and in the packet precedence order anti spoofing is checked before then the firewall policy as well as the NAT policy okay. uh, so so this slide talks about configuring anti spoofing so how we configure it we configure it over the smart dashboard that's the first thing and over the security gateway object so if somebody asks you where do you configure anti spoofing we configure it on the gateway object in the gateway object the moment you maintain a sick the moment you build secure internal communication with the gateway immediately the smart dashboard will retrieve the topology of the gateway when I see the topology of the gateway it will fetch all interfaces detected on gateway it will also fetch the IP address as well as the subnet mask configured on each interface the interface which has a default route associated it will mark that interface as external rest all interfaces will be marked as uh, as internal or this network right so different topology options are you know this network this network means it's an internal uh, network defined by the interface IP and netmask so if if an interface IP address is 192.168.70.5 so its topology is going to be 192.168.70.0/24 network defined by routes it's a new feature added uh, uh, any routes that you have created as a static routes so or maybe dynamic routes which are associated with that interface if route is present these all routes will be part of the topology database and then you can just create a network group and inside that network group you can add as many subnet objects right and then you can call that object group into into the topology of an interface that's an option of specific two op two two options you have in order to um, define the action that you can take you can either detect or you can prevent okay and accordingly right the tracking allow you the, that you, either you do nothing or you can log or you can configure an alert for anything which is either being detected or prevented due to anti spoofing you can set them to be log or you can set them to be in alert mode okay these are the screenshot that I have taken right from there that's basically the topology thing so here we see internal this network network defined by the interface IP net mask network defined by routes and specific then these are the actions you can prevent if you, if you will just click over here you will get other option as detect spoof tracking is that log none and alert right so let me move now to the next slide guys so here that's a that's a live from my lab my next lecture is going to be the live lab I'm actually going to show you this happening real so what I'm trying to sh show is that the ETH2 of my gateway guys I want you to have a pen and paper and please if you do not have pen and paper right now uh, just please watch my previous videos guys that will really help you this whole series I'm doing this is this is exactly the course right, right. if you if, if you start it right from the videos from the first two and three till now you will be able to understand every every video is connected to the video before and video after so ETH2 of my gateway has an IP address 70.100 that's right that's my ETH2 okay now topology the moment I go to dashboard I go to 
gateway object there I go to network management then I choose ETH2 the gateway and write the topology is set to defined by the interface IP and net mask an anti spoofing action is set to prevent I'm going back to the previous slide I'm trying to tell you that this is this is the default option network defined by the interface IP and net mask this is configured for my ETH to NIC card okay now what will happen assume that there is a source 71.5 he's trying to connect to and other thing is that assume assume that any source is allowed to connect to 4.2.2 right any source right now what will happen as as I said that any source is is able to connect so that means uh, one IP address in my land which is 71.5 remember that ETH2 is 70.100 but now it's a different network 71.5 is trying to ping 4.2.2 and this connectivity is going to the core switch and core switch is sending the traffic to the gateway over its ETH2. Now just because the anti-spoofing topology is set to define by the interface IP and net mask. That means now this gateway has no learning about 71.5. It does not know anything that who are you, where are you coming from, I have no idea about you. The reason being 71.5 is reaching the gateway via its ETH2 interface and ETH2 interface only knows subnet 71.0/24 as a trusted and allowed subnet firewall will drop the traffic right firewall will drop the traffic Guys, please read this line again. The reason being 71.5 is reaching the gateway via its ETH2 interface. And ETH2 interface only knows about 70.0/24 network because topology is set to defined by the interface IP and net mask. So an anti-spoofing action is set to prevent. So that means the connectivity will be dropped. So we will have to now add subnet 71.0 as topology database on ETH2. In order to make it work, we will have to tell to the firewall that hey 71.5 is part of my network. How you can do that? You can do that by either adding a route and then choosing this option network defined by routes. Okay. And more granularly, you can say that specific. When you say that network defined by routes, it means that all the routes that are part of ETH2 will be part of uh, uh, anti-spoofing. But sometimes you want to be very choosy, you want to be specific. That even then if I have 10,000 routes or even if I have 100 routes, I only want I, I only want these specific subnets to be part of anti-spoofing only, that's it. So then you can just choose to be specific over here, right? In specific, what we will do, we will create a network group object we will create network objects we will add all the specific network objects into network object group and we will call it over here right so that's all in the next video which is going to be real lab guys just please be careful watch this video again make notes watch my previous videos guys please subscribe to my channel I'm running short of subscribers right and just please like my video, just please subscribe my video um, and you know forward it to your friends, they will be able to understand the concept. So that's all guys, uh, let me see, yeah so that's all. So that was the last slide of this lecture, I wish you best of luck guys, have a wonderful day, stay safe, bye.